All right, let's talk about close quarter weapon retention. Someone's within like grappling, trapping, clinching range, drawing a gun from your holster. Uh, the one thing with the rock and lock shooting is it really does not incorporate real life scenario where the person is grabbing for your gun. So the example would be if I'm this close and even if I rock back to shoot, the person's arm's long enough to grab my gun right here. Right, and that's the one flaw in just teaching right here. Even as I'm shooting, you can see I'm kind of off angle here trying to protect it. That makes it a lot more difficult, right, to get accurate rounds on or incapacitating rounds. So if I want to hold on to my gun, we're going to show you another technique, right, that as I'm drawing, I'm protecting the muzzle. So first I'm going to draw, and then we'll stop and show you the grip. So as I draw and grab, I'm grabbing it all the way around the muzzle. I know it's only gonna fire one time. This is a weapon retention, but I'm gonna put one round on where it counts. So again, as I'm drawing from here, comes up, I meet it so he can't grab, and I'm gonna pull it up using my lead elbow, and I can shoot here, but after Lakewood incident, we're going away from just shooting to the torso. Clemens was shot right about here. We don't know what technique they used. He was still able to fight. Disarm, remember he killed four officers in that. So now we're teaching that once you draw, right, push the gun and it's gonna come right underneath the chin. So the angle of the shot is right here. Almost like I'm pushing it flat on the chest, right to here and take the shot. So it'd look like this. I'm here, I grab it straight up underneath the chin, pull the trigger. If it's not incapacitating, we're gonna elbow, 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 chop until we get a release, chamber the round come back and place it where we need to be, or if I'm able to disengage and go to regular shooting, I'll do that. But remember, as long as you're grabbing, I'm gonna hold on to this. All right, now we're gonna demo the G-Raps live fire on the range. Make sure you clear your uh, clothing to get the gun into your hand, and we'll do it for real and we'll talk about it. All right, here we go. Okay, notice? Didn't go that far out of battery, right? And then we would go to strikes, right? And then cycle, all right? And then back on target. All right, let's try it again. Striking, cycle, back on target. Okay, now we're gonna do two reps, all right? All right, let's go back to the dojo, get some more reps. All right, we're back from the range. So remember, drawing the gun and grabbing it right here, the biggest thing is when we grab around the muzzle or the slide portion, that we're really stopping it at the beginning. So it's only gonna probably cycle probably about a quarter to a half inch. And even if I had my thumb behind it, this is one of the demos we do live fire a lot, especially with the Glock, is we just pull the trigger from here and really, the slide does not move back much, probably a quarter inch to half, and that's it. It's because we're stopping the inertia at the beginning. If I put my thumb back here, it's gonna be a little bit different story. All right, let's move on to a different technique to where now the person's right behind us, they're grappling for our gun, and we need to get an extreme close quarter rounds on. The iron wing, that's up next. 